we are finally here and we're back on the bank on on another fishing session so here we are this is not no ordinary session it's mine and the other half's holiday um the dogs come along with us as well this is our humble abode for the for the week for the week four nights four nights bus hot tub we've got a little seating area there and just through there is our little hut little um, shepherd's hut so we are at wispy meadows fisheries up in norfolk so it's about two and a half hours drive for us nice little i say nice little drive it was um monday and um we're in july so i don't know how long this video is going to take to come out but it was them two hot days sunday and monday bless her the dog we had wet towels in cool bags we had like a wet thermal collar that i say thermal a wet um cool down collar for her even bought a fan for the van fan for the van to keep her cool the way up here but she did good a little travel water bottle for her with a little bowl on it she did good so here we are this is our gaff just gonna relax have a few alcoholic beverages in the hot tub hopefully catch a few carp as well that is it for me right so we're here we are at our destination we are at wispy meadows up in norfolk and um this is behind me that way the golden off so over here is a golf course which i've just found a golf ball near our fire pit which is quite worrisome i don't know i might get clonked off the back of the head but hey hopefully they shout four so let's have a little look around oh look there's some carp there look it is warm this is the side view of our little shelter the hut there's the hot tub steps down into a little seating area right there we're going to have a close look at that my body of swim i'm going to be fishing out too of course there, there's some lilies over back there so i might have a little look at them this is our little um shepherd hut it's called golden orth two right, I'll walk along now we've got the deck in here Set your rods up. We're going to fish out to there, I think. I do like the look of them lilies. I hope surface fishing is a bit of a thing here. That'd be nice because it's too hot. That's the front of it. A little sleeping area in there. We'll have a close look in here. So, hot tub, seating area. Steps up. To be fair, it's not bad, really, is it? Hey? Tub. She's a big hot tub and oh that's well big. Man, I'm so in there later. So in there later. Cheeky little whiskey fire pit. There's the there's the golf ball from the golf course. I'll try that back over. So it looks like a bomb's hit it already. Not a very big room, but it doesn't matter, it's cozy, it's nice. In here we have bus toilet, wash your hands, and to be fair, that's a nice looking shower. Very nice. Um, stove, you got your microwave, kettle, oven. This is your little fridge in here, barbecue food or cheese. This is your little living area nice tv some drawers get your little little wood burner but obviously that won't be going on so thinking about a winter session beautiful mind your head because like mind your head kind of stuff she's right there so with a nice little double bed which comes right up to the doors into another little room at the back. Look at her. Look out there. Look, you've got the lake on that side of the window. Got yourself a cheeky little TV up there as well. So this is home for a few days. It's not bad. There. 
We're not allowed to do any night fishing on here, so during the day it's just going to be a bust, I think. Yeah, so the only chance I've got to fucking get them going on the top. Obviously, I'll still keep it out, keep going on the bottom. But I don't think there's no zig fishing allowed here. No night fishing. It's more of a just to get away for a week to have a bit of peace and quiet, you know. I would like to do some um, night fishing, but to be fair, it'd be nice just to relax and have a good kip most nights. Anyway, yeah, well, see you soon. Bye. A cheeky little update for you on what's going on so far today. We arrived here at four o'clock yesterday. It's about five now, half five. So we've been here over 24 hours. And to be honest with you, I've had four runs and lost four. It's driving me insane. Um, so I'm fishing on the far bank over there. I'll show you. So I'm fishing right over on the far bank there and two to your left there's a loads of lilies there so I lost one in there I lost one at the net over the back here um, I can show you so we've got a nice little like they just they just seem to be holding up over here they've got loads of um, Canadian weed at the back here and they just seem to be just sucking on them getting the old oxygen but I've lost two and them absolutely beasts of a reed in there so I've had four takes lost four I'm not gonna lie devastated um, but like I said we've only been here for just over 24 hours not, not too far, 25 so we've still got a bit of time to go I don't know I just I just feel like the cup gods are not on my side at the moment yeah frustrating I've had a bit of bad luck but I've still got some more time to go so Cheers. I'm going to catch some. I'm going to catch some. I have to. I don't know what's going on tomorrow. Um, I can't fish overnight, as I already told you. Oh, I might as well tell you what, what's happening at the moment. Rods, baits, bait of choice. So I'm pretty much right on tight to the bank with an IQD rig on, a four ounce lead, topped off with a um, end blend from DT Paint. DT bait wafter that's up there that's my left right hand rod my left hand rod it's right in this opening the same bit of ground bait along the opening same over there ground bait all along the all along the margins along there because um, I feel like they're gonna that's like the little highway system there in and out in and out also IQD um, ND blend because I've had a couple of runs off that so they seem to like the nut here so I'm going to stick to that and then we'll see what happens get my head in if you watched the video this far um, well thanks uh, if you're new um, please hit the subscribe button um, hit that like button don't forget to hit the notif notification bell so you never miss any of the new uploads that are coming up and um, just leave us a comment just, just let us know if you've been to Whispery Meadows before let us know, give us some tips, swims, that boathouse, I think we I think we, we was talking about it um, earlier, but I think the boathouse we're going to go and visit there next year, I think. But I'm going, because I'm just talking crap. Okay, bye. Okay, cool. We good? Yeah. So, <clears throat> here we are. Um, sun's just gone down, and my right hand rod ripped off over the far bank which which was this little beauty this little mirror I'd say eight pound I would guess I don't know if you can see nice little oh, I'd say it's nearly fully scaled an eight pound mirror ripped off this was on the IQD rig also on the um, M blend DT bait, lovely. And just as this one went in the net, my, my left hand rod screened off just down here. I'd say similar weight. Beautiful little looking common there, look. Hey, just 
Just like buses. <laughs> Lose five, catch two. How <laughs> does that happen? There we go. That is it. Mate, I'm chuffed. I'm absolutely chuffed. And like, I thought bagging one of these is, is the blank saver, but Mad's got two. So right, stick this in the lake. On to the next tomorrow, because I'm going to leave the rods in, because we're not that do night fishing here, so we're going to leave them in. Can we see them? Yeah. Biggest in the lake, but what a look! So, morning everyone. Morning, we're on day three, Wednesday. Um, probably already seen by now, but I finally netted a fish and then straight after netted number two. So, double take, but yeah, the venue is really nice. I think I really like the venue. My only issue is if you're coming on the Golden Orf, Orf, um, you don't have much casting room. I have to crouch down and cast so. If you do come onto this hut, I would suggest maybe some 10 foot rods, give you a bit more room. That's my only, my only con at the moment. Apart from that, everything's lovely. Hot tub's lovely, fire pit's lovely. Getting up and having showers every morning. And, well, I say every morning. I've been having showers like three times a day because it's been piping hot. Yeah, so the rods are back out on spot, bar bank, to my left here. DT baits. Using the old M blend seems to be doing the business for me. I need some of that focusing action. It's a bit cooler today, a little bit overcast, so hopefully the fish might be a bit more on it today. Um, if we can get to if we can get a thousand likes on this. A thousand likes? That's a bit too much. If we can get a hundred likes on this video, please do that. Do that right now. Yeah, if you haven't already. Um, come and hit us up on our Facebook page. We like we like to grow the family over there as well. Come and show us your um, PBs so far this year. Always like to see a nice looking carp. But yeah, for now, um, that is it for, for me. But you definitely get some more update when I'll be catching all kinds of carp, all kinds. See you later. Oh, it's a nice little, looks like a nice little fully scaled mirror. Yeah. Love. Yeah. <laughs> well done, love. You nailed that bit of netting right there. <clears throat> Hi. So we've got one during the day. An absolute perler of a mirror, this one. It's not huge, but I don't care the looks. She's a stunner. Nearly fully scaled. What's this? Come here. What's this? Hey. Get <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>, it? <laughs> Pretty much, I'll go same sort of size as the other two. It's just an average, isn't it? Look at her. On the um, DTM blend. Um, seems to be doing the business here. So if you haven't visited here before, get some DTM blends. They're working. All right, let's put it back. Literally, there's been 
it's like a little channel because this is a bridge. They go in the main, like a bit of the lake there. They come in here, come in here. Like there's been like seven or eight fish just taking my mixers off the top. Bosh! Just rinsed. Look at that much hair. I was like half rod in it. I was like, <laughs> I played it with half a rod. But she's in there. I mean, I heard the commotion. Did you hear it? I did. Yeah. Stick it in. Look at that. That's a lovely looking mirror. Look how nice the mirror I might have weigh this one. Yeah? Yeah. Right. Cut it. We'll see you in the um, cradle. Sure. Do you want to call it because I can't? That's right. You have a little. Um, about 15 and a half. <laughs> I said 15, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah. She's about 15 and a half. There she is. Do you want to do some little close ups, my love? Yep. This was on, a t on, on the surface fishing rig made up on a 12 mil um 12 mil pop-up from sticky baits little fruit mix little rainbow kind of number there she is all right should we do some stills yeah yeah let's do it right wow here we are wow. in this lovely scenery we've got going on here and do you know what time it is do you know what time it is? I know what time it is. What time is it? The cider of the sesh. <laughs> cider of the sesh. <laughs> and cider in question. Sorry, I've got hiccups. <clears throat> we got old moot cider, oh. watermelon, <clears throat> and lime. See, it says it says to pronounce it old moot cider. A phonetic. Well, I'll get you one. <laughs> it's one in a million, apparently. No, it's one in, one in a melon. <laughs> I ain't got a clue what I'm talking about. It's one in a million. No, it's one in a million, love. <laughs> but, Go. you're about to experience a refreshing blend of the natural sweetness of watermelon and crisp lime. Prime the blind. Prime the We love nature and we couldn't craft our tasty cider without it, which is why we like to look after it. Exactly. Ow. <laughs> just, just jab me, man. <laughs> you idiot. Why not try pineapple and raspberry, berries and cherries, kiwi and lime? Get on board. I do like me a bit of watermelon. Yeah, we do. So, 500 mils. As usual, if it's a fruity little number, it's always four percent volume. Um, got this from Tesco's. It's free, free bottles for five pound. Can you just say why you got it from Tesco? Yeah, so I dropped the ball on this one a little bit. I did want to try um, a different lot of cider. I'm not going to tell you what because well, it's going to ruin the next the, the next side of the sesh. But I forgot, totally forgot. So we nipped down to. The local Tesco's, um, which was just about four minutes down the road, which and we didn't know it was there. Which we didn't know was there. We was going to convenience store first, don't we? Yeah. Um, walked in there. I must have stood there for about ten minutes like that. <laughs> I don't know what I want. So I grabbed this at the spare of the moment. Whether we've done it or not, I don't think we have. But here we are. Well, you say what you want to say, love. There's a bit of a breeze going on here. I don't know if you can hear us. <laughs> Made in the UK, HP Bulmer Limited. What, Bulmers? Is it part of Bulmers? Because I thought this was a New Zealand brand. I mean, it does say established in Nelson, New Zealand. But... Maybe they bought them out. Should we try? 
Yeah. Don't forget, you've got to do the old um, sniff test first, love. Sniff it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. I think I suck up my nose. <laughs> That's for you. Don't disturb the car in the cage. So, what are you doing? <laughs> Oh, good girl, isn't you, hey? Smells like cider with a. Wait, you're sniffing about me. Hint of watermelon. I do smell the watermelon, Ready? actually. I'm not sure. Hey, no one else can hear anything when you do that. What? They can't. Should we go for a taste? Cheers. Cheers. Cheers for holidays. Cheers. Cheeky little holidays up in, um, where are we? Norfolk? Norwich. Norwich. Norfolk. Norwich or Norfolk? I don't know. I think they're both the same. Definitely hit watermelon here. Definitely. And I'm someone that loves watermelon. Yeah. I'm obsessed with it. I am not. I'm not fit. Can you taste the lime? Not really. No, it's just watermelon, isn't it? They, I reckon they'd be Maybe better off if they like... just did a straight watermelon one. It makes me burp, but. <laughs> Go on, chuck one out. No, not really do it. It's uncouth. <laughs> uncouth. <laughs> Is it uncouth? It's <laughs> uncouth. What, about, what do you think about the old fizzy content to it? Not too much? What do you mean, like how fizzy it is? Yeah, because sometimes if it's too fizzy it just just bloats you out. No, I've had old and moot cider before and uh, I don't have an issue with the fizzies. It's just the right level oh, for I, me. I, that's what I was saying. Right level, sweetness, right level I think. Very nice, yeah. And I like, they're kind of like, uh, take on flavours. Like it's boring, you keep doing the same old flavours. Well, like These guys mix it up. You've got, like, you've got all kinds of flavours. Watermelon and lime and on the back it, raspberry. Pineapple and raspberry. Have you guys berries tried and that? cherries. Kiwi and lime. No, but have you guys tried the pineapple and raspberry? Uh, we're going to have to go back into the archives. Couldn't tell you. Drop a comment down below if you've watched other videos. Have we already tried this? And they've already tried it. <laughs> Also, also, leave a comment and let us know of other um, ciders that um, we ain't tried that you want us to try. 100%. Oh, definitely 100%. But I like this. I think it's, it's nice. nice. It's, it's, it's clean, a, it's not too sweet. It's, um, it's a subtle flavour. Nice summer drink, isn't it? A bit of ice. So if you, had to, if you had to 10 out of 10, what would you give it? I'd give it a solid... Um, I'd give it a solid 8 out of 10. Who's going to say 8? Who's going to say 8? Eight? Eight? Nothing. I'll give it an 8 and all. Oh, there you go. But there you go, people. There it is. Cider of the Sesh. Cheers. Cheers, love. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to all you guys. Cider of the Sesh. So, we got to the point of the evening where we're not allowed to night fish, so I reeled my rods in. So I reeled my left hand rod in, done, in, on the bank, and then, did I say my right or my left? Left. Yeah. So I reeled my right hand rod in, there's a fish on. But well, we had a few bleeps, didn't we, earlier? Yeah. But not a huge take, Nothing was it? Nothing consistent. Nothing like, um, you know, proper like run, a runner. So I reeled it in, and I was like, babe, I've got a fish on here. Here it is! <laughs> Jesus! Here it is! It's another beautiful mirror, fully scaled. Absolute stunner. Another an absolute little stunner. Wow, slippery and all. Look at that. So, go on, babe. Chuck a guess at me for weight in pounds. A guess? I have yeah. no idea. Well, have a go. 18. You caught an 18? Um, 18.5. 18.5. So I'm going to go for 16. All right. What did you put some bum shorts on for? Come on then, what is it? That's £16 on the nose. What did you say? 18 and a half. What did I say? 16 something. 
this is why he was on the end. <laughs> So, we are on the final day, it is half past three and um, we're packing up, we have to be off by 11 tomorrow morning, but it's gone really well actually, um, it, well it started off really badly, five losses, one after the other, I was thinking what is going on, but I've actually caught more up now and I have lost so landed six lost five but hey and like I said probably already seen the cup are not huge in here they say there's there's um, 30 pounders in here or up to 30 pound I think it says on the on the website who knows who knows or you won't know until I catch one or see a picture of one all the carp I've caught are mint lovely looking carp and I take good looking carp over overweight to be fair really nice looking yeah so have a look at this place it's a beautiful place it's called um whispery meadows it's up in norfolk and um it's well i'm from kent and it took us two and a half hours to about two and a half hours drive here it's quiet you know i don't know if you can see that over there i'm oh, pointing there it is that's a boathouse it's like a two bedroom house over there it's got it's got a bath in there it's got actually uh, it's got the same sofa that we got at home big corner sofa we had a quick look through the window yesterday like a couple of perverts like and it looks really nice in there it's got a little pac-man game thing in there we saw but i think we're going to give that one a go next year because i'll come back 100 percent will come back to this place so yeah that's it six fish six stunning fish and um hopefully we get we'll bag another one before i go home tomorrow all right see you later there we go nice enough um Another one off the top, just in the little pond area around the corner. Epic little bell, tried to get under the bridge. Um, should we weigh? Let's have a little weigh. Yeah, do you want me to put the camera on? 12 and a half pound mirror. <clears throat> so there we have it, 12 and a half pound mirror. Um, beautiful fish though in here. Like, haven't been, they've not been huge, but they're all mint looking condition. But there we go. away yes so that is it we are at the end of our little holidays it's in the morning i've got a bit of bed hair going on right there but i don't care it has been a nice little break for all of us my little family the missus and the pooch had some nice fish well fish had some nice carp on the bank not been huge but they make up in their beauty Stunning little carp, all of them. All stunners, can't complain. Definitely, definitely will be coming back to the place. Yeah, so if you made it this far, thank you for watching. For me and all the other Wet Lines gangs, love you all. Um, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, and um, yeah, just help us grow. Just, just trying to grow the family. You know, we're aiming well, our next goal is 4,000 subs, so do that now, please. Thank you very much. Well, yeah, I think that's about it, you know. Again, Wispy Meadows, I'll get, um, I'll get Baker to deliver the um, details of the venue in the description below. Um, Wispy, Wispy Meadows up in Norfolk. Thank you for watching. Love you all. And just remember, keep those lines wet. Cheers.